Hello, I'm David Tansley. I'm a P-Series Administrator for a global insurance company. In this clip I'm going to demonstrate file system freezing. A freeze is where all rights to a file system are suspended for a defined period of time. Why the need for a freeze? Well, if you have an application where you want to get a snapshot backup, you need to make sure you have no rights going on during that process. OK, let's now do this with a demonstration and this one will use the file system slash my apps. There it is. Now when you specify a freeze, you use the CHFS command with the freeze option and the number of seconds it's going to be frozen. In this demonstration, we will use 300 seconds which equates to 5 minutes and there the file system is now frozen. Now all writes are suspended but all reads are good to go. So we'll try and count a readme file and there we are, it is displayed. Now if we try to remove that file, because all writes are suspended, the arm command will hang. So now let's do an immediate thaw. Now when you do an immediate thaw you specify it either with the off or zero parameter. And there we are, the file system is now thawed without pause or regard. Now let's now look at a small script that will generate files into this file system. And when it does that we will pause it halfway through. Now here's a file. Now you can see here it generates 100 meg files. So now let's run that command, and there we are, off it goes, and if we have a look at the directory, we can see the files are now being populated in that file system. Now let's freeze it, and this one we'll just freeze it for say 5 seconds, and there it is, and wait for it to be frozen, and it's now frozen, and we can see the rights have been suspended. Now when that freeze thaws, which we'll do shortly, there it goes, you see the writes continue. Now if you have a file system that is already frozen and you try to refreeze it, AX will tell you that. Um, and here we are, so if we try and freeze it now, and it's frozen and we try to refreeze it, it should tell us quite nicely it's already frozen. And there we go. Freezing the file system is good for when you want to do backups. It's a very useful command. Now let's just unfreeze it for completeness.